everyone welcome to home cooking with me Hema Subramanian I'm excited to share with you a unique twist on a classic favorite moringa chapati moringa also known as drumstick leaves is packed with vitamins and antioxidants now if you're looking to add a nutritious punch to your meal while still enjoying the comforting goodness of chapati you're in the right place so let's get started and make these delicious moringa chapatis for the moringa chapati I've taken two cups of atta that is wheat flour so this is a 250 ml cup measurement to this i'm adding two teaspoons of finely grated ginger one green chili de-seeded and finely chopped to this i'm adding quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon chili powder half teaspoon coriander powder half teaspoon cumin powder one teaspoon salt one teaspoon of ajwain that's carom seeds just gently crushing it just going to add that just add about two teaspoons of oil I'm taking two handful of the moringa leaves. Now these are very fresh leaves that's been nicely washed and cleaned. So I'm just taking two handful. If I want a little more extra, I will add it later, but I think this is more than enough. So if you do want to chop the leaves a bit, you can chop it, but I'm adding them as a whole. So gradually pour water and start mixing the dough. If you feel you need to add a little bit more of the atta that is the wheat flour, you can just add a little bit more. So after 5 minutes, you can see the doughs come together very beautifully. Close the bowl and let the dough sit for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, you can see the dough is really nice and soft. So now I'm just going to divide it into equal sized dough balls. The smell of this fresh moringa leaves is so good. Dust the dough ball with some flour and place it on the rolling surface. Start rolling out the dough ball into nice thin chapatis. The moringa leaves tend to release a little bit of moisture, so if you feel the dough is getting a little sticky, just dust it with a little flour. So you can see how thin it is now. Once you've rolled out all the dough balls in this manner, keep it aside. Heat the tawa, once the tawa is nice and hot, place the rolled out chapatis, cook on one side for about 10 to 15 seconds, then flip it to the other side. Once you see the brown spots, just add a little bit of ghee, you can either add ghee or oil. I personally prefer a bit of ghee to all my chapatis and rotis. So once it's cooked on both sides, remove it from the tawa and you can serve these delicious moringa chapatis nice and hot. Wow, look at these moringa chapatis, they're so soft. Make sure the leaves are nice and fresh while making these chapatis. You can enjoy this with some nice pickle and raita by the side. I'll give you a couple of links to the other roti and chapati recipes. Do check them out. It's time to taste these delicious and healthy Moringa Chapatis. Now I've served it with raita and pickle by the side and I'm going to taste it with raita now. Mm. Perfect. It's too good. Mm. They're so soft and there's so much of flavour in those chapatis and it's perfect with the raita. So there you go, here are these simply delicious, nutritious and flavorful Moringa Chapatis. Now you can enjoy it with any side dish of your choice. Make sure the leaves are nice and fresh and you can enjoy them nice and hot. Do try it and share it with your family and friends and let me know how it turned out for you guys in the comment section below. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. You can now buy the second edition of our home cooking book at shop.homecookingshow.in.